हेलो व्यूअर्स गुड इवनिंग आई होप यू एन्जॉय गार्डनिंग इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स विच द कटिंग्स फेस ऑफन बींग प्लेस इन द वॉटर सो राइट नाउ आई एम शोइंग यू द कटिंग्स विच आई हैव फिक्स इन द वॉटर एंड वट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स द कटिंग फेसेस सो दिस इज द मेन टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन as right now you can see that how would some of the leaves start turning yellow in color i'm showing you the close vision like this leaf as you can see it's totally withered away and turned yellow in color so in that condition this is the first and major problem like these all leaves have turned yellow in color for example this leaf is half green and half yellow in color so in that condition what you are supposed to do for example i have placed these cuttings in the room and it's not getting sunlight anymore if the cutting start responding in a very negative way and all the leaves start turning yellow one after another so then just do place these cuttings open in the open some place for example you can place it in the veranda and you can also place it on some wall but where there is some very partial sunlight because cuttings are not supposed to receive the direct sunlight otherwise it would come in direct shock and the second problem which is very prominent in the cutting like the bottom part of the branches start decaying just like this i'm showing you the close vision that all the bottom part of the branches have turned black in color if you ignore all these problems ultimately it also affects the leaves for example this branch is totally decayed at the bottom if the branches are turning black in color then what happens the leaves start turning withered away and it start turning yellow from this part so always to remember when you are checking the status of your cuttings in the water the leaf of the money plant always start turning from the branch side for example this totally part is turned yellow in color and remaining part is green in color so this is a very clear indication that your leaf is totally withered away and if i do not remove this leaf then what happens the entire leaf will be turned black in color so this is the very important thing to discuss over here i am also showing some other branches which are turning i mean which are completely decayed so you need to remove all these branches because if you do not remove all these branches and the yellow colored leaf it would ultimately affect the other branches as well so if i talk about the remaining leaf they are still in very good condition why this happened what is the reason behind it because i had placed it in the room where it was getting the artificial light so this is the second reason when it happens just keep it in the open place where it gets the air as well as some partial sunlight so these are some major problems which cuttings faces and i am showing you the very close vision now i will take out all these cuttings in order to know its current status because i think uh, two months back i had grown up these cuttings in the jar and after two months all the cuttings are in a very healthy state except some few branches and leaves which i had shown you in the previous section of the video and i will now remove all the cuttings from the water in order to know the status just like you can see 
I have recently changed the water of the jar two days back and the water is still clear and now I am showing you the status of the cutting but what is happening to all these cuttings as you can see some of the cuttings have started decayed like this cutting bottom part has turned black in color so in that condition if this happens to your cutting like this bottom part start turning black in color or getting decayed then in that condition do one thing which is which becomes very important because if you do not remove these blackened part of the cutting ultimately it would affect the other cuttings as well i'm showing you the close vision like it has completely decayed like this branch if i talk about this is happened just because these cuttings have grown older and moreover i had placed it in the room so every plant demands care if we talk about the plants in the soil it demands care not only the plants in the soil but also the plants cutting in the water also demands care these are the very common problem which the cuttings often face so now what have what i will do just like i have picked up this branch and you can see that this portion is totally decayed and now i will cut it down because it is very necessary to cut the branch if i do not cut it down ultimately it would affect the other cutting as well just like you can see i have cut the remaining part i have cut this branch at this section in order to save this even this part is also decaying you can see but the upper part of the leaf is quite progressive i'm just showing the upper part is quite progressive even the roots are quite good it the roots are not decayed so this is the major problem which everybody often faces with the cuttings in the water so in that condition do cut down the decayed part and the rest of the part put in the water again just like this this part is also decayed so i will cut it down and i'm showing you the root look at the root the root is decaying sorry the root is not decaying it has developed if i talk about this branch is decaying actually just like i am rem removing this very pulpy part that if i do not remove it would ultimately damage the entire cutting so always to check the bottom part of the cutting whether it's decayed or it's proper just like it start decaying so in this condition i i will cut it down also i mean the bottom part of the cutting so in today's video i am discussing the major problems that can also be happened with your cutting so in this condition need not to worry at all do all these things and with the help of caesar cut down the decayed part and you just you can use this branch in the soil as well i would suggest do not place such cuttings in the water again because it would face the same thing after some time so play so use this cutting for growing in the soil it will grow well and you can multiply it as well for the time being i am putting it in the water and later on i'll show you how to fix up this cutting in the soil as well so now i am showing you the status of other branches as well just like this branch i am now picking so you can see how these branches have decayed showing the very negative part 
I mean these branches have decayed so if this starts happening with the cuttings do cut down at that section like I will now cut down this branch at this point in order to save the wind cuttings it becomes necessary and it is very important for the growth of the cutting as well and this smaller leaf is turning yellow in color and you need to remove it also because if you do not remove it it will ultimately affect the growth of other cuttings also so now this is the second cutting and you can see all the bottom part of the cutting is quite healthy and long roots have started appearing this cutting I will also use for fixing in the soil now I have placed this cutting in the jar so this cutting now the third section which is quite different and having a different reason like I am showing you its root the root is quite decayed is it, it it it's clear in the video like this root is quite decayed so now what i will do i will cut down this part of the cutting at this point because it is very necessary to cut the bottom part now i have chosen this part now if it's clear in the video the very smaller branch is getting yellow in color so remove it also so if you are if your cuttings become like this need not to worry at all what you are supposed to do is just to cut down the decayed part and fix it up in the water or in the soil like this now you can see no part at the bottom is decayed the cutting becomes quite fresh and healthy as it were earlier so these are the major things like also I'm showing you this root if it is visible this root is quite decayed so but do not remove this root why because at this section there is no branch there is no single branch if you cut down this root it will ultimately damage the second branch having this leaf so i would suggest do not cut down such roots which having the two branches starting from the same section use this branch for fixing in the soil directly so these are the things which i just wanted to share like this branch is having the same problem so remove this blackened part and fix it in the water but now i will use all these cuttings for fixing in the soil it's very important thing which I just wanted to discuss that this is the cutting which I have taken from the jar now what you can do even you can multiply this cutting how this is another very important thing like this cutting is having two knots so you can divide this cutting by cutting down at two different point one cut you can have here and other cut you can take it from here and third is the leaf which is already growing so this cutting you can divide it into the two part and by this you can also multiply your cutting which you had earlier fixed in the water this is very simple method by which you can divide the money plant easily like I have divided already and I have cut down and this little knot which I am showing you now I will use it in the money plant poly bag I had already done hole in this 
soil and now I will fix it up carefully so this is a very easy method by which you can multiply your cutting in the same way you can also fix the second cutting so now I have shown you that how you can select the cutting from the jar and fix it up in the soil when you have no other option like the cutting start decaying I hope this idea will be helpful to you you can save this cutting in a very well manner because if you do not keep all these cutting out of the water then what happens next ultimately all these cuttings start decaying because it these cuttings are already in the water for the last two months so whenever these problems start coming with the cuttings of money plant in the water then do one thing take out the cuttings from the water and cut it down at the part where the roots started appearing and second thing which is very important even remove the decaying part of the cutting or cut it down so after that fix it up in the poly bag or in the planter of your own choice this will be very helpful to you like i have used almost two or three cuttings taken from the jar but i have kept all these three cuttings still in the water because i know their conditions is still well and these cutting can be placed in the water for the next 30 days also so i hope this idea will work best for you and by doing this method you can also save the cuttings which you have placed in the water and thank you for watching the video till end